What's up, guys? Flux. Um, so I was on the Machine Movement Facebook page, um, and I was talking to some people about a way to basically do freezing in machine. And I thought I'd do a video to kind of illustrate what I was talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a beat. Um, this computer that I'm on is a 2008 MacBook Pro 2.4 gigahertz with 4 gigs RAM. Um, problem with that is uh, machine's not multi-core, so I tend to beat it up. And you'll see the white uh, CPU bar start to jump high. What I have right now is I have a drum kit that I made. Um, you can actually, I believe this one is one of the ones that I did for free over at machinestutorials.com, so you can go grab that. Um, I've got that loaded on A. Then I've got Damage, a contact instrument, um, which uh, tends to kick a whole lot of ass on C. I've got Absinthe on D. E, I have, um, actually I have, what is it, String Studio VST. And then F, I have Razor, which we all know is um, a CPU hog. So I'm going to go ahead and quick make a beat uh, real fast and I'll just show you how I go about doing the um, the freezing trick that I did. Okay, so we got drums. So far, CPU is not really changing, okay? When we start using the VSTs, that's when you're really going to start seeing a change. down a basic beat um, and you can see that uh, when it's at rest the CPU is fine 
but when it's moving, my CPU is getting up there because I need a new Mac. Um, so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go ahead and take the problem child, which is going to start with Razor, because Razor is just beating me up right now. Um, and I'm going to drop that, um, instead of using the VST, I'm just going to use a sample. But I'm not going to get rid of the VST because maybe later on I want to tweak it. Maybe I want to do something different. Maybe I want to add some oscillations or different patterns, whatever. So here's Razor. Um, and you can see, uh, matter of fact, let's go ahead and turn the quality all the way up to high. Um, which normally I wouldn't do unless uh, I was going to do what I'm about to do now. So I have quality up at high because why not have the best if it's not going to affect me, right? Um, so I'm going to hit play real quick and you can see where my CPU is at. Um, let's also turn the metronome off. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the second sound slot in that same group, okay? I'm going to go into my sample area, okay? We're going to go internal. We're going to go to bass, which is my group F, okay? Sync sample. The pattern is four bars, so we're going to make it four bars. All right, you can do all this from the controller, but I'm doing it here so that you can see what I'm doing, okay? Hit start. It's going to say waiting for next bar, and I'm just going to hit restart. Listen to that real quick because normally I'll go back and I'll mute everything else. Uh, but essentially, what we're going to do is let, let's hear this real quick. Okay, so I don't hear any problems with it, so we're good. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of sampling mode. Okay, I'm going to take the polyphony on this. I'm going to set it to one because I really don't need it overlapping or anything because it's a, it's a perfect sync sample. Um, there's also two ways to do this, by the way. I'm showing you um, the sync sample way first, and I'm going to show you another way to do it also. Um, so what I can also do now, that, that works really well for if you're also doing um, external synths, like if like I've got my Ultra Nova or my Dark Star or something here. Um, you can do that uh, for external gear also. Um, and there's advantages to that. Like if you have a uh, reactor loaded up as an FX, so let's say you're doing um, using the mouth or um, or doing something with a vocoder and you want that, that input, you won't be able to just drag the audio um, using this little guy here. Um, matter of fact, let's go ahead and do this just so you can see how it works. I'll do it both ways on this one. So what I'm basically doing now is I'm just dragging the audio of that VST of Razor and throwing it right here. And these two should basically be the exact same sound. Um, and I'm going to set my polyphony to one. Let's go to pitch and gate. Make sure it's on one shot. Let's make sure this one's on one shot. Okay. What I can also do is I'm going, um, uh, let's go ahead to, where am I at? Mm. Get out of my pad mode here. Um, Let's go to choke group. I'm going to set choke group on each of these to just the same choke group just so that I can cut each other off so you can hear. Okay. Now, you heard the trail off on the second one. Um, the reason there was a trail off is because I kind of just started doing this video and wasn't really thinking ahead. Um, what that is, is if you go into, um, oh, yeah, export audio, all right, you're going to see loop optimize. That should be clicked when you're dragging and dropping, um, your sounds. If you don't have that clicked, you're going to get the trail. Um, so if I were to drag it again, I would not have that trail. So I'll show you. I'm going to go ahead and drag that and drop that in here. Matter of fact, I'm going to drop it right on top of where that other one was because I really don't need it. So that was actually me just screwing up, but I got to show you something quick and easy. So, 
Okay, so now we have that. What I'm going to do now is just go back to Razor. And it's important, this is where it, the key is, is that you want to mute the module that your VSTs are on. If you have multiple VSTs here, mute those modules. Um, because just muting the sound, like so, doesn't actually kill the CPU cycles. When you mute this up here, you're actually killing the CPU cycles. So now, um, when I go to a new pattern, okay, I'm going to set my pattern length to four bars, okay. Just drag, I'm just going to drop that node in there, okay. And uh, make sure again, yeah, that's one shot. Okay, so now I can hit play and I'm going to get the same sound, but not have as nearly as much CPU on there because Razor is now killed off. But I didn't get rid of it because who knows, maybe later I want to come back to that. Now I'm doing the same here as well. I'm, now I'm on damage. I'm just going to drag and drop it the same way. Okay. Let's go back here. Mute it. Setting the polyphony again to one. Okay. And we're on a new um, pattern here. Set the pattern length. I believe that was just two bars. Uh, let me double check. Yeah. Okay. And I, every time I do this, just watch. You're going to see my CPUs just coming down and down. So if you're running out of CPU, um, and you're... Okay, now I'm not using any of those CPUs now. I'm only using the samples. All of the um, all of the VSTs now are completely muted uh, at the module level, so they're not taking up any CPU. You can see down here that sucker's all the way down. Like I said, um, you know, that's just doing the drag and drop, you know, of your sound, of your group, right onto the, onto the, um, onto the pad. The sync sample way is uh, more useful if you're doing uh, external effects or, or groups. Like, for instance, if I wanted, I have uh, the drums here, all right? I'm going to take this group, I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to send it through, um, let's, let's send it out here we'll take some some drums some parallel drums there we go okay so now I've got um, the solid dynamics guitar rig on group G and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to um, my aux I'm gonna set that to G I'm gonna bring it down a little bit 
Um, and then I'm going to set my aux to pre. Okay. And let's hear how it sounds. To get the sound of those drums with the um, with group G on it, I would just go to H, all right, or or even B, wherever you know. Um, go to sample, internal. Um, I can go to master, all right. I'm gonna mute these guys, okay. And four bars. Um, actually, this is two bars, I believe. So hit start. There it is right there and I can if I want I can mute this stuff out um, and go here to one and okay pattern two bars drop that in there let's unmute all this other stuff no CPU usage there so uh, but right now it's everything's nice and low so I can you know use these as I want them and good to go so that's how I do my type of freezing um, once you get used to it it's actually really fast it's not it doesn't feel complicated at all uh, it could be streamlined but for now that sucker works